After crossing the Sea of Galilee, I tried to find some suspects. But suddenly, a suspect found me. Oh! G'day, Detective. Remember me? Of course I do. You're John, son of Zebedee Doodle. Ah, you're not a detective for nothing, Detective. Yeah, it's me. You still looking for the saviour? Have you found him? No. I keep missing him. Oh. You're going to tell me I've just missed him again, haven't you? Yeah, sorry to be the bearer of bad news, Detective. He just went that way with his disciples. But he's been doing some cracking miracles. After Jesus went up on the mountain and was transformed, he came down from the mountain and he saw some of us squabbling with the scribes. <laughs> what about? Well, while he was up on the mountain, we tried to heal this little boy and we couldn't. Nothing we said or did would heal this boy. And so the scribes were saying we were bad men and the dad was getting real worried and it was all going pear-shaped. And then what happened? Well, the saviour rocks up and he takes the little boy and his dad aside and he asks the dad, what do you want me to do for you? Duh, healing. Everybody wants healing from Jesus. Got it in one, detective. Well, then Jesus says to the man, all things are possible for those who believe. Dad says, mm -hmm. he says, mm -hmm. I believe, help my unbelief. <laughs> Hang on. What? I believe, help my unbelief. What does that mean? Stuff to find out, detective. But then Jesus takes the man aside and he takes the little boy aside and he prays for the little boy mm -hmm. and the boy shrieks and he falls down and we thought he was Gonski. Was he? No, he was all oh. right. Jesus picks him up, <laughs> dusts him off, and he's right as rain. No evil spirit, no problems, nothing. What floored me though, detective, was why we couldn't heal the boy. We'd been going around and healing in Jesus' name. And we shouted at the spirit, and then we spat, and we even used words that Jesus would have used. But it was no use. So afterwards, we asked Jesus why we couldn't drive out the spirit. And you know what he said? What? He what? said, this type of spirit can only come out through prayer. Prayer? What? Yeah. And then he takes us aside and takes us for a little walk and tells us he's going to die. No, no, no. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I know Jesus has got enemies. But isn't that a little over the top? Yeah, we thought it was over the top too. But it didn't stop all us disciples squabbling over who was going to get his stuff or who was going to lead our mob once Jesus was gone. We were talking about who was the most powerful. What? Hang on. He did not even gone yet. And you were talking about him like that. How did he feel about that? Well, he wasn't supposed to hear. But he did anyway. And then he takes us aside and says, well, if you want to be first, you've got to be last. And you've got to serve everyone. And then he takes this little runty kid, this little nothing kid, and says, if you want to receive the saviour, you've got to receive little children like this. And if you receive little children like this, you receive the saviour. And if you receive the saviour, you receive the one who sent the saviour. Oh, my goodness. So, hang on, Jesus is working for somebody else? Yeah. Who? Who? God, detective, surely you know that. The saviour comes from the most high God. This is getting so strange. Oh, Who, who's that? Who's that over there? Oh. oh, you, come here, come here, you. Whoa! Wait! 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 Oh, are you? What? What? Me? Yeah, you! Detective! I know who you are. I know what you've been doing. You've been asking questions about the Saviour. No, and no, if, not me. If no. you're asking questions about the Saviour, you're looking for answers. Now I'm looking for answers too. I got some questions for you. Come on with me! No, I haven't done anything! No, no! 
No! When John had taken off running, I tried to follow him. It turned out that the angry man was Phil the Pharisee, part of the religious police. He grabbed me and took me away. I couldn't escape, so I went with Phil. I felt afraid, but as the danger began to rise, I knew I was getting closer and closer to learning the truth on the trail of the Saviour.